So, um, so they're on on the increase. Yeah. Is that yeah. a, is that a worrying increase? Is this a right across the country? It, it seems to be pertaining to the cities. Obviously, the amount of building works that are going on, mm. you know, basements being dug up, extensions are all pushing on rats into people's homes, mm. and obviously the wilder wilder temperatures, you know, the winter. And yeah. apart from obviously physically seeing one, how do you know your home might have rats? They do not get away with it. Mice, they can be out the corner of the eye, they live in the cavity walls, whereas rats are a big animal. You may just find a half-eaten apple on the floor, you see them scutting across, you hear squeaking or scrabbling around. They don't get away with it for long. What do you do if you've got rats in your house? Mm. Better to prevent them than start curing them, as Ricky will say. It's all about gap filling. Right. So rats and mice can get through incredibly small gaps that you wouldn't think they could. Generally, I'll show you actually, a bit of a prop here. A rat can get through, a juvenile rat can get through a size about oh size of a 5p. So, so yeah. probably not that one, obviously. Um, and a mouse can get through that or smaller. Mm. So it's really thinking about, they're going to be coming in from outside, so it's looking for gaps in brickwork. It's looking for, if you have ventilation, then obviously you want to be putting mesh in where the aircon would be, or from your kitchen ventilation, extractor fan, things like that. And really looking at gaps in general. So when you've got pipe work coming in, you might have a gap around it, best to be filling it. And I'm assuming that you've got to be very careful that you don't entice them in in the first place. So so keeping your bins covered up, keeping your food put away. Of course, things like that, yes, are very important. But remember, rat can chew through quite a lot of Everything. stuff. So he can get through, uh, Fatty, for example, would be able to get through breeze blocks, certain type of brick. Breeze blocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, metal. They're very, rats in particular um, are very good at sort of chewing through pipes. So things like water pipes and gas pipes. A rat will chew through that. So again, these are the sort of things you really need to be very careful of if you find one. Yeah. Okay teeth never stop growing, do they? That's so they correct. have to gnaw. That's correct, and it's also the hardest organic substance on the planet. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And so, uh, so they can gnaw through metal. Yes. Yes. If you have an infestation, how do you get rid of them? It's about identifying their access into the property, as was identified. You know, a lot of rats come up from the sewer system, so it's imperative a CCTV investigation is undertaken. These are apocryphal stories about rats coming up from the toilets. The toilets, yes. Have a direct correlation with the drainage. So CCTV investigations is so important as part of pest control prevention, particularly when it comes to rats.